Good morning, Year 3. Welcome to your RE lesson on Monday. Now, we are continuing to learn all about Christianity and focusing on Jesus this term and what Christians believe about Jesus. Now, we are going to be having a look today at what influenced the pictures of Jesus. So, if you had to write a book about your life, what four points would you put in it? What is the most four monumental things in your life so far that have happened? So for me, um, it was probably um, a, lot of, a lot of things have happened. That's actually quite difficult to put, to put those four things down. Probably um, going to university would probably be one of my first ones. Um, meeting my fiance, probably one of my second ones. Um, starting teaching would probably be one of my third ones um and maybe somewhere in the middle there as well um I might have I'm um, like graduating from university all those kind of things um obviously I've lived a lot longer than you guys but can you think of four key things that have happened in your life that you would like to include in your life book so pause the video and have a think for me I would love to hear some of those things that you, um, the four things that you think are the most important things that have happened in your life so far. So that's kind of what the Bible is to Christians, is that they, um, they believe that the book, the Bible of the book, tells the most important parts of Jesus's life. Now, although the Bible um, doesn't include any information about what Jesus looks like, it focuses on what he did. And in the Bible, there are no pictures um, whatsoever. There are just stories from different people who were associated with Jesus. So about 150 years after the Bible was um, believed to be written, people then started to draw and paint pictures of Jesus based on the stories that were told in the Bible. Now, the Bible is believed to be written about 2000 years ago or just after the birth of Jesus. So there was no things um, like films and photographs and things like that. So people would have to have paint and to have drawn as well. So we can't be 100 percent exact of what Jesus is believed to be looked like. We have to make some kind of um, logical guesses based on the stories. Now, here I have got six pictures, six paintings um, of what some people believe Jesus to have looked like because of the stories. So what I'd like you to do is to pause the video in a second. Just have a look at these six pictures. What do you think people believe about Jesus based on these pictures? For example, they've all got, apart from, well, this one still has a bit of a shadow. They've all got this kind of like light behind Jesus. So that could give us the idea that, you know, he's kind of like um, illuminated. He is, um, he's kind of like the saviour. He's got light behind him. He's got light supporting him. All those kind of things. Dig a little bit deeper. So pause the video and talk to a grown up if they're there or think about it yourself. What can we kind of learn about Jesus from these pictures? So we've hopefully had a little bit of a good discussion or a good think. Now it's a really tricky idea and all of these pictures are very different. They perceive Jesus in lots of different ways. He's got different hair, he's got different skin colour, he has different um, like clothing on, he looks like he's a different size and a different weight and all those pictures. We are not 100% sure what Jesus was believed to have been like. We can make guesses um, based on stories from the Bible and Christians believe different things about him and what he might look like um, because of those stories in the Bible. So what might Christians believe based on these um, pictures? Well, we've talked about the lights behind them. We can also see in quite a few of these pictures is that um, Jesus is not like looking at the person. So maybe Christians believe that Jesus is a little bit modest. Maybe he, um, he isn't a big show off or anything like that. He's a bit reserved. Maybe it's also showing um, that Christians believe he's looking up to somebody else, especially in this picture. He may be looking up um, to his father, his God, things like that as well. We've also got a picture where there is um, a book in it. So Christians might believe that Jesus, um, you know, was reading to be able to get ideas of what he could teach. Or maybe that's the Bible itself. This is kind of the book about what people thought happened in his life. We've got this picture here where Jesus is surrounded by lots of nature and lots of birds. 
So maybe Christians believe here um, that he's kind of one with nature. So lots of different things that we can take from these pictures. But we are not 100% sure what Jesus looked like because we do not have any photographic evidence of him. So this is what people have had to base their ideas on. So what I would like you to do today is using your knowledge of anything you already know about Jesus. This could be um, if you are religious yourself and you may have been to church and learnt some of the stories. It may be that you follow a different religion or you don't follow Christianity. But what have we already learnt in Ari at school, thinking about previous years as well? Or just in general, do you have any ideas of what Jesus might look like? I just want you to have a think in general, how would you draw or paint or whatever you'd like to do? How would you represent Jesus in some way? So if you are able to draw what you think Jesus would look like, take a picture and pop it on tapestry or pop it in the comments below for me, please. And we will be continuing to think about the stories that are told in the Bible, um, all about what that Christians think the life of Jesus was. Have a great day, guys, and I will see you very soon.